Hello, I'm Douglas Kennedy, and as some of you know, I write novels. Hello, I'm Amelia Kennedy. I'm an actor and a writer. We are here in Maine uh, during this uh, viral night town to be joicy and about it, where I live part of the year, the other part of the year in Paris. And I live in Brooklyn, New York. And I had the great good fortune many, many years ago, back in the dark ages, uh, of studying with David Norris at Trinity College Dublin and studying Joyce. And we are about to read uh, a passage from the book, from Joyce's Ulysses. But as Amelia is the actor in the family, uh, she's going to do most of the heavy lifting. And also, uh, as you can gather, even though I am Irish and American, I was raised in New York. And so I'm going to do this in my own accent, no faux Irish accents. And as you've probably gathered, I am from London or England originally, but I have an Irish mother and an Irish American father, but I will be doing this in my own accent. No Irish accent for me. So off we go. Urbane to comfort them, the Quaker Liberian purred. And we have, have we not, those priceless pages of Wilhelm Meister, a great poet on a great brother poet. A hesitating soul taking arms against a sea of troubles, torn by conflicting doubts, as one sees in real life. He came a step, a syncopace, forward on neat's leather, creaking and a step backward, a syncopace on the solemn floor. A noiseless attendant, setting open the door, but slightly, made him a noiseless beck. Directly, said he, creaking to go, albeit lingering. The beautiful, ineffectual dreamer who comes to grief against hard facts. One always feels that Guta's judgments are so true, true in the larger analysis. Twice creakingly analysis, he quarantoed off. Bald, most zealous by the door, he gave his large ear all to the attendant's words, heard them, and was gone. Two left. Monsieur de la Police, Stephen sneered, was alive 15 minutes before his death. Have you found those six brave medicals? John Eglinton asked with elders gall, to write paradise lost at your dictation? The sorrows of Satan, he calls it. Smile, smile, Cranley's smile. First he tickled her, then he patted her, then he passed the female catheter, for he was a medical. Jolly old Medi. I feel you would need one more for Hamlet. Seven is dear to the mystic mind, the shining seven, W.B. calls them. Glitter eyed. His rufous skull, close to his green capped desk lamp, sought the face, bearded amid dark greener shadow, an olo, holy eyed. He laughed low, a sizer's laugh of Trinity, unanswered. Orchestral Satan, weeping many a rude, tears such as angels weep. Edegle avea del col fato trombeta. He holds my follies hostage. Cranley's eleven true Wicklow men to free their silent. Gaptooth Kathleen, her four beautiful green fields, the stranger in her house, and one more to hail him. Ave Rabbi, the Tina Healy twelve. In the shadow of the glen, he coos for them. My soul's youth I gave him, night by night, Godspeed, good hunting. Mulligan has my telegram. Folly, persist. Our young Irish bards, John Eglinton censured, have yet to create a figure which the world will set beside Saxon Shakespeare's Hamlet. Though I admire him, as old Ben did, on this side of idolatry. All these questions are purely academic. Russell oracled out of his shadow. I mean, whether Hamlet is Shakespeare or James I or Essex. Clergymen's discussions of the heresy of Jesus. Art has to reveal to us ideas, formless spiritual essences. The supreme question about a work of art is out of how deep a life does it spring. The painting of Gustave Moreau is the painting of ideas. The deepest poetry of Shelley. The words of Hamlet bring our mind into contact with the eternal wisdom. Plato's world of ideas. All the rest is speculation of schoolboys for schoolboys. A.E. has been telling some Yankee interviewer, Wall tarnation strack me. 
The school men were schoolboys first, Stephen said super politely. Aristotle was once Plato's schoolboy, and has remained so, one should hope, John Eglinton sedately said. One can see him, a model schoolboy with his diploma under his arm. He laughed again at the now smiling bearded face. Formless spiritual, father, word, and holy breath, all father, the heavenly man, Jesus Christos, magician of the beautiful, the logos that suffers in us at every moment. This verily is that. I am the fire upon the altar. I am the sacrificial butter. Thank you. Thank you very much.